The world of organized crime often has its fair share of intriguing and enigmatic figures. One such individual who captivated the public's attention was Claudia Ochoa Felix, a woman often dubbed as the Kim Kardashian of the Sinaloa cartel. Claudia Ochoa Felix gained notoriety for her striking resemblance to the American reality TV star and her alleged association with one of Mexico's most powerful drug cartels. In this video, we will delve into the life of Claudia Ochoa Felix, exploring her rise to fame, her connections to the Sinaloa cartel, and the controversies surrounding her persona. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more thrilling videos. Let's get started. Early life and background. Claudia Ochoa Felix was born on January 17, 1989, in Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. She grew up in a region known for its involvement in drug trafficking and cartel activities. However, specific details about her early life and background are limited. Like many individuals in her neighborhood, Claudia Ochoa Felix came from a modest background. It is believed that she had a relatively ordinary upbringing, but the allure of the drug trade and the power associated with it likely had an influence on her life. Sinaloa, the state in which Claudia Ochoa Felix was raised, has long been a stronghold for drug cartels, with the Sinaloa cartel being one of the most dominant and notorious organizations in the region. The prevalence of drug trafficking in her surroundings might have played a significant role in shaping her path, rise to fame. Claudia Ochoa. Felix's rise to fame can be attributed to her striking resemblance to Kim Kardashian West and her active presence on social media. In 2014, images of Claudia began circulating on various platforms, and her resemblance to the American reality TV star quickly caught the public's attention. People were captivated by her glamorous lifestyle, which mirrored that of Kardashians, and the media quickly dubbed her the Kim Kardashian of the Sinaloa cartel. This comparison propelled Claudia into the spotlight, attracting significant media coverage and fueling public curiosity about her alleged connections to the criminal organization. Her social media presence played a crucial role in her rise to fame. Claudia frequently shared photos and videos showcasing a luxurious lifestyle filled with designer clothes, expensive cars, and extravagant parties. These posts garnered a large following, with many individuals fascinated by the glamorous image she portrayed. However, this fame was not without controversy, as it raised questions about the ethics of glamorizing someone allegedly associated with a criminal enterprise known for its violence and illegal activities. Nonetheless, Claudia Ochoa Felix's rise to fame can be seen as a testament to the power of social media and the public's fascination with intriguing personalities tied to the criminal underworld. Connections to the Sinaloa Cartel Claudia Ochoa Felix's alleged connections to the Sinaloa Cartel were a central aspect of her public image and the speculation surrounding her life. Although concrete evidence linking her directly to the cartel's criminal activities is limited, rumors suggested that she was romantically involved with Jose Rodrigo Arechiga Gamboa, known as El Chino Antrax, a prominent member of the cartel's enforcement arm, Los Antrax. Los Antrax gained notoriety for their involvement in acts of violence and their loyalty to the Sinaloa cartel's leadership. However, it is important to note that Claudia Ochoa Felix consistently denied any involvement in illicit operations and maintained that her glamorous lifestyle and social media presence were unrelated to criminal activities. Despite the lack of definitive evidence, her physical resemblance to Kim Kardashian and the perceived connections to the Sinaloa cartel contributed to the media's fascination with her and the moniker Kim Kardashian of the Sinaloa cartel. Controversies and Speculations as Claudia Ochoa Felix rose to prominence, numerous controversies and speculations surrounded her persona. The media often depicted her as a glamorous figure, flaunting her extravagant lifestyle on social media platforms. This portrayal fueled public interest, but also invited skepticism and criticism. Some questioned the ethics of glamorizing a figure allegedly associated with a criminal organization responsible for violence and suffering. Others argued that her status as a public figure might have endangered her and her family's safety, as it could draw unwanted attention from rival cartels or law enforcement agencies. Tragic Ending Claudia Ochoa Felix's story took a tragic turn in September 2019 when news broke that she had passed away. 
Initial reports suggested that she died due to a drug overdose, but later information revealed that she had actually died from a respiratory failure caused by a pulmonary aspiration. Her death sent shockwaves through the media, sparking further speculation and conspiracy theories. Some believed her death was a result of foul play, while others attributed it to her alleged involvement in the world of drug trafficking. However, the exact circumstances surrounding her demise remain shrouded in mystery. Legacy and Reflections Claudia Ochoa Felix's legacy and the reflections it leaves behind are multifaceted and subject to individual interpretation. Her rise to fame and association with the Sinaloa cartel highlighted the complex dynamics between popular culture, media attention, and organized crime. Her story serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the dangers and consequences of getting involved with criminal organizations and the potential risks of glorifying such figures in the media. Ochoa Felix's untimely death added a layer of tragedy to her narrative, leaving unanswered questions and fueling speculation and conspiracy theories. Her legacy reminds us of the darker side of notoriety and the often devastating consequences that can accompany a life entangled with organized crime. Moreover, Claudia Ochoa Felix's story prompts reflection on societal fascination with figures who blur the lines between celebrity and criminality. It raises questions about the responsibilities of the media in shaping public perception and the potential impact of glamorizing individuals associated with illicit activities. Ochoa Felix's case forces us to consider the ethical implications of turning figures like her into symbols of intrigue and fascination, especially when their actions and associations may contribute to the suffering of others. Ultimately, her legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of critically examining the narratives and images presented to us, and the need to distinguish between the allure of notoriety and the reality of criminal involvement. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of Claudia Ochoa Felix's life, it's important to approach this topic with a balanced perspective. While her story offers a glimpse into a unique intersection of cartel culture and celebrity fascination, it should never overshadow the deeper issues at play. Drug cartels have devastating effects on societies, fueling violence, corruption, and instability. Understanding the complexity of these criminal organizations goes beyond the individual personas associated with them. It requires a comprehensive examination of the underlying socioeconomic factors, systemic issues, and the need for effective law enforcement and social programs. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening journey into the world of Claudia Ochoa Felix, the self-proclaimed Kim Kardashian of the Sinaloa Cartel. We hope this series has provided you with valuable insights and sparked thoughtful conversations about the interplay between crime, celebrity culture, and the power of the Internet. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.